Right, guys what we're gonna be fishing with today is the new some of the new colors on charlie's cajun caco we just came out with five new colors you're just gonna thread it just like a matrix shed very similar to a matrix shed this bait's a little bit more durable and this bait's got a rattle in the belly that's what it looks like and you can hear that rattle right there that rattle gives it a little bit more noticeability for the fish. Gets their attention a little bit better. We're using it on just a quarter ounce or a 5 16 ounce black platinum. And we're just making long, long, long casts. We get that bait out there. And we're just going to swim it over to some grass flats in the Pontchartrain Basin. go all right guys just like the last few years you get into that october month before it gets a little cold these fish they want eel grass they want um a certain type of grass that most estuaries provide or if you can find like sunken islands and stuff that's got grass on top of it that's what they want that's what we're fishing today and we're simply using we added some new colors to Charlie's Cajun Cockaho. This has got a rattle in it. This, this lure is super, super durable, a very tough plastic, and it swims very nice. This is a great little lure. We added five new colors to it just because we had a really good response from the um, salt and pepper we one that we did. So we're breaking this out. The water is still pretty stained from um, Hurricane Ida. That rattle gives it a little extra noise in there to get the fish's attention and let's put some fish in the boat. That's the type of grass that we're looking for right there. Naturally you're gonna hook it sometimes. And if you're ever hooking it too much you just throw a top water something weedless but I'm not hooking it too bad just here and there and then that way it tells me I'm on the right stuff in the right area. That's the grass. Right in the boat. As you can see, I'm just simply casting and reeling right over this grass. I'm not really jigging because I don't want that lure to fall down in the grass. When you're fishing this type of technique, I recommend like a, a longer rod, kind of like a seven footer. Um, the longer the rod, the more distance you can get out of it. And when you're on these shallow flats, as you can kind of see the boat rocking right now, making a little bit of noise, you want to be able to get that bait away from the boat as far as you can. And also you might want to drop your line size down a little bit. That'll help out with some casting distance. And that's, that's what we learned a lot in Florida when we're fishing these flats is the distance is the key. Most of, you, most of the time the bites come in the first five to 10% of your retrieve. You know, right when it hits the water, those first couple cranks, you get it close to the boat, they can just hear the boat slap in the water. That's what makes wade fishing so effective in water depths like this is that, you, you know, you're virtually, Visible, nothing, you know, they can't hear you, they can't see you. There 
Nice fish here. This is a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, baby. Get on up in here. That's what we're talking about. Big, beautiful trout. Let's talk about the schoolies. What about 16, 17 inches? I wish I had a power pole right now as we got a breeze blowing us around in here. That's what we're talking about. This is a glow with the chartreuse tail. And that is what we are looking for, guys. to make the team and what was he thinking trying to eat something half his size but nevertheless that's what you got to deal with right now and that october period september october you're going to deal with a lot of school trout but you got some nice ones mixed in you just got to weed through them that's pretty much the name of the game across louisiana this time of year so many different grass flat areas around the Pontchartrain Basin. Um, the biggest grass flat is going to be over there between Fountain Blue State Park and Mandeville all the way back to Bayou Liberty. That is an excellent, excellent place to fish this time of year, especially on like a north wind. Um, you got stuff around the Irish Bayou area that's got that eel grass. You got it by the cedar, little cedar and big cedar. And Pontchartrain, um, just a lot of nice grass flats around. Lake Catherine's usually full of grass. Great early fall place to fish. Now the problem with this year is we still have some grass to fish, obviously. That's what we're catching them on today. But Ida took a lot of our grass. Um, and that, that kind of hurts because that's the main thing these smaller trout are looking for in the... Um, this time of year is that grass. So when them hurricanes come through, which we seem to get every single year now, uh, it just eats out, it eats that grass up and it gives us, you know, not as many options on where to find the fish and find the grass. But nevertheless, they're always somewhere. What I've been hearing lately is where they're really catching the fish though, is in deep water, a deep water pass over there by Chalmette around Martellus Castle and the breakthrough in the rocks over there into the Mississauga. That's been the real hot spot. Big migration zone for the shrimp and the fish have been ganging up in there. Also Bayou Thomas. There he was. Bayou Thomas, same situation, same layout. Fish have been in there. That's a big fallen tide spot. They're probably there right now. But uh, I just really enjoy running these little swim baits over the uh, shallow grass. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. We're going to make it nice and short and sweet here. Using that new, we've got multiple new colors in Charlie's Cage and Cockahoe. Catching school trout in Lake Pontchartrain. If you want to get your hands on some of these new rattling cockahoes, Charlie's Cage and Cockahoe, it's got a rattle in it. Make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box. We'll be putting multiple colors out there. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all of our 
shallow flats videos. If you look at the published date, we usually shoot these around September, October, November. So, whoa. Get your hands on some of these rattling cockahoes. And until next time, guys, good fishing.